Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, teacher Goy. In our today's video, we will talk about the Triangle Inequality Theorem in which this video is part 2 of this topic. So kung gusto mong panoorin yung mga videos natin with regards to Triangle Inequality na pang 4th quarter ng mga grade 8, yung mga links ng mga videos na ginawa ko ay ilalagay ko sa ating description box. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So this time, sa ating part 2, iba naman yung situation na sasagutan natin but still we will be using the triangle inequality theorem so pag-usapan muna natin ano ba yung tinutukoy sa triangle inequality theorem so ang tinutukoy lang naman dun let's say for example you have a, tri a given triangle ang sabi dun when you add the measurement the measurement of the two sides of any triangle that is always greater than the third side. Parang ganda lang siya. When you add the value of x or the length of this side, which is x, plus the value of this side, which is y, it is always greater than the third side, which is your z. At anong combination na gamitin nyo dito? Pwede, pwede. Pero this time, ang hanapin natin ngayon is kung ano ba yung mga possible range ng side na meron tayo para makabuo ng sub triangle given lang yung dalawang sides. So let's say for example, sabi sa problem natin, find the range of the values of x using x using triangle inequality theorem. So again, yung triangle inequality theorem natin, sabi doon, uh, when you add or the sum of the two sides of any triangle is always greater than the third side. So dito, ano kaya yung mga possible values ng x na pwede natin magamit to create a triangle? So meron akong formula or solution dito na kung saan, since ang hinahanap natin sa si x, I will create this one, x, and then inalagay ko dito ay this symbol and this symbol. Na kung saan, what will I do is I will add these two numbers here, so 9 plus 12. And on the other side, so, so, so first lang natin, I will subtract the two numbers. Let's say 12 minus 9. So, pag simplify natin to, it will give us x is greater than 3 but less than 21. Ito ngayon yung mga possible range ng values ng x natin. So again, sir, ano pong ibig sabihin ito? Again, ano pong ibig sabihin ito? That the third side or the possible sides here na pwede natin ilagay or measurement is greater than 3 but less than 21. Now, to prove yung sinasabi ko dito at yung ginawa natin, ay kapag papasok sa range na 3, greater than 3 but less than 21, is possible ng gumawa ng, ng mismo triangle. Try natin. So, let's say for example, your x is equal to 10. Diba? Kasi yung 10 natin is greater than 3 but less than 21. So, let's apply the triangle inequality theorem. So if this is 10, you have 10, 9, and 12. So try natin i-add 10 plus 9 is greater than 12. This is a true statement. Okay? Now, for the second combination, 10 plus 12, 10 plus 12 is greater than 9. Alam naman natin, this one is also a true statement. And another possible combination is when we add 9 plus 12. And that is greater than 10. And also, this one is a true statement. Kapag naging true yung tatlong statement mo, automatic, we can form a triangle given this measurements. So dito, kahit anong number that is greater than 3 but less than 21, to replace this variable x, we can create a uh, triangle based on sa mga measurements na yan. So I hope na nakuha niyo yung first example natin. And let's move on with the second example. I will erase this one. Again, this is our answer for number 1. The third possible side is greater than 3 but less than 21. So let's have the second example in which, for the second example, we are given here 5, 8, and we need to find the third side, which is x. So what will I do? Is I will create an inequality. Like I x and then at yung mga simbol sa gagamitin nyo, 
At ito, lahat sila nakatulugan. And then create your first blank and your second blank. Nagyan natin ng separation. For the first blank, subtract the numbers. Pero nga, yun yung pinakamalaki. So that will be 8 minus 5. Again, sa left side of blank, copy the, the bigger number and then subtract the smaller number. And for the right side naman, add the two numbers. We have 5 plus 8. Okay, 8 plus 5 para sa naman yan. And simplifying this, this will give us 3. At copy natin yung mga symbols natin. And this one is 13. So, ano pong ibig sabihin nito? Ang ibig sabihin nito, the, the third side, or the possible measurements of the third side, is greater than 3, but less than 13. So, i-check natin kung kaya bang i-satisfy. Let's think of a number or a random number na pasok sa inequality natin. Let's say, hmm, gawin natin yung 4. How about 4? Because 4 is greater than 3, but less than 13. Check natin ha. If we have 4, so you can have 4, sorry, 5, 8, and 4. Let's apply the triangle inequality theorem. 5 plus 8 is greater than 4, which is true. And then second, we have 5 plus 4 is greater than 8, which is also true. And last combination, when we add 8 and 4, which is 12, that is always greater than 5, which is also a true statement. As you can see, lahat ng ating statement is true. So if we use 4 as the third side, we can definitely create an equation. And also, lahat ng mga numbers or possible measurements that is greater than 3 but less than 13. So I hope na natutunan yung lesson natin on how to identify the possible range of the third side of a given triangle. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!